Yeah. So how how are we feeling, Team USA? Uh, I guess it was a weird race in that we pro I ran a PB and was 12, so it was one of the better finals ever. Um, I kind of executed the race plan I wanted to run, which was go out conservative and try and close on guys that went out too hard. But apparently, everyone could just hold it today. So yeah. Um, yeah, that was how I felt. These guys ran awesome. Were you guys expecting such a fast race? How are you feeling about your I performance? Was, I was expecting a faster race, but uh, it went out really quick and uh, I felt good out of it. And then just the, the last 600, I didn't have any key change. It's something I've, uh, the last corner, is something I've been lacking the whole year. It's a cool experience. We still ran well. It ain't a PP, it ain't a seasonal pace, probably my seasonal pace, but it's not enough. It's not enough against this kind of person. We gotta get better. We gotta get better. Yeah. We're still far away. Yeah. For sure, like if you see those guys the way they change the pace, yeah. you yeah. can know that we're still far away. We're there, we're here, but we're still far away. We need to work on a lot of things. Just to have that turnover where they, when they make a move, you're already making a move as well. Yeah. And to make sure that we don't get tired after the sub semi finals, because yeah. that's how I felt today. Like, I felt like I'm still tired in the semi finals, but uh, we ran our seasonal best, we ran the BB, so. That's good. I mean, what a, what a day to close the season. Yeah, you ran so fast early in the year and almost won the Diamond League. Like, you feel like the season was too long for you, or what, what happened at the end of the season? <coughs> you brought up that, like, when I was warming up, I was telling these guys I feel flat. Because uh, I'm, it's not, it's not a good, it's not, I'm not going to use it as an excuse, but something I'm, I'll have to look at it. I ran 808 here in my first race, and I finished the season in 8, eight I think it was 808. Something I would just need to sit down and call and just see what we need to do. And uh, I don't think that it's been long, but I still feel like I got ready for them. It's just like there's something we're missing that when they change the pace, we're not able to change. It's something we need to, to look into and maybe we need more speed or it's something we're lacking. Well, look, that's the one. It was like a great race. It went by 100. Yeah, so that, yeah. Well, yeah. Ethiopians obviously wanted to be fast. They sacrificed one of their guys. He DNF'd the guy that was leading, so. Yeah. Um, Were they saying anything? Could you tell that was going on or what? We all hypothesized that would happen, but three guys in the finals. Um, and they, I think they all thought Conceslus wasn't at his best because he's been hurt. And he maybe wasn't at his best, but I guess he's still in eight of one shape, so. Um, and he can always close, so. I think they're hoping to run the kick out of him, and he, I guess they did it. They need to make it a little harder. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think? Is the reason why Ethiopia now is a power on the steeple. It used to just be Kenya, Kenya, two Moroccans and French would get in there and the United States. I, why is Ethiopia now so good? I think they just feel like that. It's, it's their thing as well. Yeah. Uh, and you know, like, I've never seen people do the drills like Ethiopians. So I wasn't I wasn't really surprised when I see them coming with the steep and starting to check for them. I'm sure the um, sub 13 minute guys got tired of getting left off teams and yeah. they thought. Let's start diversifying. Yeah. yeah. And Andy, how's the whole experience been for you, I guess, now that it's out of conclusion? Uh, I've oh. missed out so many times and now it's... Really good, actually. I mean, you know, I wanted to come in and honestly my goal was like top half of the field in the final. And I honestly thought running 8... I, really, I came in the year wanting to break 810. And I like can look at places where I can improve a lot still, so I'm excited to... Um, take a little break here and get ready for next year, but um, this has been a really good learning experience in it. Um, I'm frustrated that I was 12th, but it kind of lights a fire to want to be next, better next year because, um, I mean, the goal here is to be fighting for medals, and um, I obviously have a big jump to go there, but um, start by seeing if I can get in that top five or whatever. And, um, yeah, it's exciting. Great to be here with these guys and Team USA. Everyone's been really supportive, so it's been a good, good time. All right, thanks guys. Thanks you guys.